Oh, here we go again, and I'll try not to uh, muck this up, but here we go. Um, so we have an equation of a circle. Um, there's a tangent to it. Find the equation of the line L in the form of that where it touches the point. So we need to kind of work out what's the center because to get a tangent to a circle, basically you need to work out what the gradient is, is from the radius, uh, from the edge to the center so that you can do the perpendicular radius for the tangent, wherever the tangent might be, obviously. Um, so we need to do that first. So the first thing we need to do is write down the equation, but I'm going to write it with the x's together and then the y's together because we're going to have to complete the square on this um, to be able to find the centre. Okay, so I'm just going to enlarge it a little so I can work if it's right. Okay, so this would become x squared plus 9. No, not x squared. x plus 9 all squared minus 81 9 squared plus y minus 1 all squared minus 1 plus 30 equals 0. So I've got x plus 9 all squared plus y minus 1 all squared. And on the other side I have got minus, eight, oh, minus 81 minus 1 plus 30 gives me minus 52 which crops across to 52. So I have a centre of a circle at minus 9, 1 with a radius of root 52. Now I know they haven't asked me per se, but I would always do that first just so that I knew what I was dealing with. Don't necessarily need the radius at this point, but it was something that you need to do. So then in your head you can have a think, okay, um, we want the equation of the line, so we want the tangent to a circle, so it's y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, we've got the point being uh, minus 5, 7. I'm going to write x and y above it so I don't get lost, as normal. <laughs> um, and then we, so we don't know the gradient. So the gradient is between the centre, which is minus 9, 1, and minus 5, 7. So I don't know, we'll put it up there. Okay, because we want that equation of the line. So we need that gradient first. So the gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And again, x, y, x, y. Doesn't matter which way around you do it. So I'm going to do 7 minus 1 over minus 5 minus minus 9 equals 7 minus 1 is 6 minus 5 plus 9 is 4, so I'm ending up with 3 over 2 positive. So my perpendicular gradient, which is what I need here, is minus 2 over 3. So I'll then sub that into the original equation I've got here. I've got y minus 7 equals minus 2 over 3 x minus minus 5, so it becomes a plus. Okay, so they don't want it in that format, so I'm going to times 3 by 3. So I've got 3y minus 21 equals minus 2x minus 10. So I'm going to bring that over this way. So I've got 2x plus 3y minus 21 plus 10 minus 11 equals 0. So that's my equation finished. Okay, so that is the first part. Okay, the second part. A different circle has this equation where k is a constant. So very similar, but different by the constant. Okay, So given that C2 lies entirely in the fourth quadrant, find the range of values. Okay, so let's think about this. So basically, if we were to, okay, let's do this again. So it lies in the fourth quadrant, so we'll check where. So first of all, we need to do our completed square again. So I'm doing this again. Let's put minus k over there. So we've got x minus 4 squared minus 16 plus y plus 6 squared minus 36 equals minus k. 
So x minus 4 squared plus y plus 6 squared equals 16 plus 36. Oh, it's 52 again, so that's good. Uh, 52 minus k. So we've got a centre of 4 minus 6. And that is over here and what we're saying is we can have a circle we don't know how big it is but it's all definitely inside here it wouldn't touch is what it's saying it lies entirely so it's got to be less than four because if it was six it would go above so the radius it's got to be less than four so that means the square root of 52 minus k has got to be less than four so 52 minus k has got to be less than 16 so 52 minus 16 has got to be less than k. 52 minus 16. So k has got to be less than, no. Thirty-six is less than k. Okay. So k we could so 36. So 52 minus 36 would give us 16. So k can be 36 is less than k is less than 52, because if it was 52, it would be 0. And you need to have, to have it, and that would mean it would be a point. So it's got to lie.